Welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. On this channel, we go over all things fragrance. We cover niche perfume houses. We go over layering combos. We talk about dupes and clones of original fragrances. We highlight indie perfume brands on the channel, all things fragrance. If that is something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos because you never know which fragrance house or perfume topic we are going to cover next. Um, so we are continuing on our vanilla and gore mond fragrance week more than a week now because vanillas and gourmands are my passion <laughs> they really really just lift my spirits um anybody they just you can tell when a fragrance um you know not brand a fragrance genre just gets you and this is one that just gets me i just love to indulge in these fragrances and a lot of you guys in the comments i've been noticing do as well so i'm so happy that you guys are on this journey with me exploring seeing what our options are out there and for today speaking of options i will be comparing royal crown sultan which is a really pricey fragrance and it's a very decadent fragrance decadent gourmand um right up against genre perfumes Eau de Vanier. So Genre Perfumes Eau de Vanier is the a clone to the fragrance. This is an independently owned fragrance house. It's an inspired by fragrance house, but they also have original fragrances that they create and they have an Etsy. You can find them on Louisiana Roma. So with this brand, you would have to go online and look for their group to see when they release their ordering windows. So when the ordering window is live, you then have the option to purchase all of their fragrances or get some samples. I've collected all these samples and I have not had time to wear test them all. So I'm pretty excited to have a full on genre week because uh, we haven't had that yet. So genre perfumes they're really really affordable as well if you check out their etsy site louisiana roma you can see the price points and you can get a hold of some of their most popular scents i i checked and eau de vanier is there so this will be available if it's sounding delicious to you to go ahead and sample okay so let's go ahead and do the review let's talk about royal crown sultan so this fragrance i do have a little decant here sample of it oh my gosh it smells so creamy from the nozzle you, it just smells like eggnog it smells like just decadent the um create the creator of Royal Crown is Antonio Martino Visconti. Now, this fragrance brand is a niche brand from Italy, and it, this fragrance was rolled out in the year 2015. So, um, in the notes, we have Madagascar vanilla, dates, fruity notes, cedar, mint notes of labdanum, Moroccan rose, and jasmine, base notes of myrrh, sandalwood, agar wood or oud, and saffron. I will let you know that everything mixed together is just so unbelievably creamy and and rich like I'm saying and decadent however when it hits my skin I completely ruin it <laughs> for at least a few the majority of the day I want to say at least six hours I am smelling a certain thing on my skin if it only stayed the way that it is from the nozzle, my goodness. So what do I get? I get a very smooth, oh my goodness, creamy, gorgeous, yes, vanilla opening with those dates peeking through there. Oh, I just recently um, smelled a fragrance with dates in it. Was it by the House of Gloy? Uh, no, I'm not sure what house it was, but I we recently sampled something. Oh, it was from the Italian brand. Um, goodness, 1942 Novile. Yeah, there was a fragrance, Castelli, I believe. There's something that had dates in it, and I could smell the dates. Very similar to the way that the dates are presenting themselves here. Oh my gosh, okay. So everything is great. The... The, the vanilla, the decadence, the eggnog feel that I'm getting. And then I have no idea why, but my skin just turns it into syrup. I am all of a sudden 
just syrupy and and smelling just once the labdanum kicks in i get a very very vivid memory this takes me back um you know to I, my mother used to take me to a curandero whenever, you know, I, I was raised in the Hispanic culture. We, we don't normally rush off to the hospital whenever we have things that can be cured by our Hispanic folk healers. <laughs> so my mom used to take me whenever I had an injury or, you know, one time I had a cyst on my wrist and I would get a, so, um, a sovada, right? Like, okay, we're going to massage the area. So the oils that they would use, um, you know, the healer would use, it just completely smells like this on my skin. <laughs> and so the oil that the curandero uh, used to use, it, it takes me there. I can see the bottles on the window ledge. Like I can see them and I can smell it. And this, this is exactly what it smells like. <laughs> So I get a little bit of that leathery tone in here from the labdanum and of the myrrh as well. So they use a bunch of that. I, I didn't, I might have pinpointed it to Palo Santo. That could be an oil that was used. Definitely something was always burning. Um, but Palo Santo smells a little like baked apple pie with caramelized sugar. And that's pretty much also what I'm getting from the fragrance. So this is the original fragrance that I'm speaking of here. Oh my gosh, it dries down with a hint or a spice, right? A hint of spice where that myrrh really does come in. And um, it's, it's a little smoky, but in the background, it's not a smoke in the way front and I cannot handle it. It's a, it's a nice smoke. It's a nice smoke that, that comes in in the dry down. It just gets a, it takes a very long time to get to, again, this decadent ice cream eggnog type smell for me. It takes hours and throughout the day, I'm getting whiffs of, you know, that, the, the healer oils. <laughs> so, um, unfortunately that is just, even though it's nostalgic and all that, I mean, I really... I don't want to think of the times that I was injured, <laughs> you know, I just, I don't know. It just, it doesn't take me, like, that's an interesting memory that I don't want to continue to revisit. And it's not generally appealing to me. So many people love this fragrance. It come, totally jives with their skin chemistry. They get that decadent vanilla the entire way through. And um, unfortunately, I do not. Now, this was my experience as well with the Eau de Vanier. So when I first ordered this from Genre Fragrances, I ordered it because everybody was talking about the decadency, the eggnog, the uh, vanilla that in the dry down leaned towards a Tahota type vanilla. Yeah, I, a little, a little. But um, yeah, it takes way too long to get there for me. So the Eau de Vanier, I cannot open it. <laughs> this one, and it, the atomizer is really nice, by the way, on the genre. You see that? Ooh. <laughs> They're really nice on the genre um, perfumes. This opens up with a little peppery kick. I don't know why. There's no pepper listed. I mean, I don't have the notes, do I? No, for the Eau de Vanier. But, I mean, it's a clone. And I smell pepper. I smell pepper in this opening. It's got a really nice spicy opening to it. Um, so basically maybe I'm just getting a, a heavier dose of the myrrh maybe coming through immediately for me in the uh, genre dupe or clone. So it does line up after that pepperiness kind of subsides or subsides, I'm sorry. Um, I do get then everything that the original Royal Crown Sultan gives, the the creaminess, the eggnog, the, you know, is this, is this ice cream decadency? And then I get hit with that, you know, leathery tone and the oils. <laughs> so that is what I'm getting from both of these fragrances. Um, I did share a little bit of the fragrance with a fragrant friend and I also love to spray this on my husband. 
on his clothes when whenever we head out in the, in the cold times uh, because it smells so good on him and I can at least enjoy the scent. It does not take me to them oils um, used by the Hispanic folk healer. It takes me to the decadency only on his skin. <laughs> Goodness, I am not so lucky. This is what I'm getting. So another fragrance does this, um, and I couldn't really find um, a common ground. Angel Share by Killian. So many people adore that fragrance, love it, it's amazing. It does not work with my skin chemistry. I turn it into straight up IHOP. I have said it before on the channel, but it's, I mean, it's the truth. It's just does not work for me. I'm guessing I'm ha I have trouble with apple pie, like it can't be baked. <laughs> I have to have fresh apples on my skin. Anyways, my little girl, she said it then and she said it again. She said that this smells on me like desitin. She's like, this <laughs> This morning she walks into the closet. I had just sprayed myself and she's like, I'm like, what? And she's like, I don't like it. I'm like, I know you don't like this one. We've established this. <laughs> so yeah, she does not like it on me at all. Not one bit. Like, I'll put it up to her face and she's just... It smells like desitin to me, mom. I'm sorry. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> so even though this fragrance does not work out for my skin chemistry, um, I know that it works out for so, so many people, other people's, and I wanted to do the wear test. I wanted to double confirm that it does not work for me. And I wanted to tell you guys, you know, are there any differences between the original and genre, genre's fragrance? The cold season's coming up. The holidays are coming up. This is a solid option for your holiday get-togethers, uh, for cozy, warm times. You know, I mean, cold times, but you want to stay warm solid option just not for me unfortunately so yeah so um i do not my final verdict on this fragrance is that i do not care for it personally for my personal tastes so yeah that was what i got from the fragrance um it just was not enjoyable for too many hours by the time it became enjoyable it was more of a of a you know have to really pay attention now the longevity the original still on clothes i still have this on my clothes it smells nice on the clothes it's just my skin it has to be my skin so on the clothes you get it's still here on the skin um it went a good 12 hours now the eau de vanier hung on it started to get a little weak around the eighth hour, but it hung on a good 10 hours. So it has some good longevity. And for the price, you just cannot beat it. You really can't. So I hope I got my point across. Um, you know, I always try to stay somewhat neutral on fragrances that don't work for me so that you can at least get something positive out of the review, you know, even though it wasn't a positive experience for me. Um, so I hope I did it justice because it is a beautiful, decadent fragrance. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the channel, to the reviews, for coming along this vanilla and gourmand journey. Um, I'm not sure which video will load first, but we have a Sugar Milk Company unboxing coming up. Yes, we do. Yes, it's a Halloween uh, unboxing. Can't wait to get to that. Um, probably tomorrow. <laughs> you guys have a great, great rest of your day, your evening, or your night, and you stay safe. Thanks. Bye-bye.